Tonight we began with a disturbing story that some of you are experiencing right now. All across the country, patients are going without some of their prescription medicine because they cannot find a pharmacy with any in stock. Some of the hardest to find medication, pain killing opioids, which is extremely difficult for those dealing with intense pain. The shortages come as medical professionals are writing fewer prescriptions for painkillers. NBC 15's Darwin Singleton spoke with one Mobile family tonight hit hard by the shortage. Darwin? Well, Kim, a local mother struggling with a life-threatening disease and her devoted son who is trying to make her as comfortable as possible. But that has been hard to do when the painkillers she needs are impossible to find. Two weeks ago, this Mobile resident was able to walk into her doctor's office. She knew something wasn't right. And now? My mother, mm, she disabled, she can't walk. She can't, she can't even hardly walk. Like, it's gonna be a struggle for me to get her in the car. That's her son, who was recently told by a doctor that his mother has stage four lung cancer. The 33-year-old suddenly finds himself the sole caretaker of his mother, even as he holds down a full-time job. And now add another responsibility to that list, finding someone who can fill his mother's pain medicine prescription. They keep on writing prescription for pain medicine, and I can't get the pain medicine from anyone. So uh, They don't have it? They don't have it. What do they tell you? Uh, they tell me that it's on back order. Every, every pharmacy I've talked to, they say it's on back order. And he's right. Some of the medical industry's most prescribed pain meds, like hydrocodone and oxycontin, are in such short supply, people like this woman are going without them. It's something Dr. Karen Marlowe, the director of Auburn's Center for Opioid Research, Education, and Outreach, is seeing in her own practice. For me, I'm a hospice pharmacist. It means something to me because my patients need opioids to take care of their pain. Mm -hmm. And so it means a lot to me to take care of them. And it's not just pain meds. Media reports from across America reveal a long list of hard-to-fill prescriptions, from opioid painkillers to essentials like Adderall for ADHD. Even some popular antibiotics and cancer therapies are on back order. Why? Well, a recent Newsweek article featured researchers at the University of Utah. They looked at recent drug shortages, and they found that 19% of shortages were attributed to supply and demand, 18% attributed to issues with the manufacturer. But a whopping 56% of drug shortages, according to the University of Utah, are either unknown or they've not been revealed by the manufacturer. And in the case of painkillers, a decade of tightening up on overprescribed pain meds has reduced the demand affecting how much manufacturers produce. We have to work on that entire cycle to make sure those who need pain medications have access as well as those who need recovery. Here in Mobile, this young man is preparing to take his mom to the hospital for cancer treatment. She'll probably receive pain medication while she's there, but... It's only going to be while she's there. When she comes back home, she's going to be right back in pain again. That is one dedicated son right there. If you're having an issue like this, talk to your doctor. He or she might be able to change your dosage to one that's in stock or put you on a different medicine that a local pharmacy might have in stock. It's something more and more of us could be dealing with as shortages are expected to extend into next year. Kim? Darwin, thank you. Now for the latest updates on this story and more, be sure to follow NBC15 on Facebook, X, Instagram, and at mynbc15.com.